the vibration of the planet increasing um, at a greater rate than it has in the past? Yes, let me explain something quickly. Which I explained to this group before, not all of you are here though. The ascension has begun, but it starts small. Very, very, very small. But as we gather people, like new people are here tonight, it gets wider like a beam of light shoots out. And it collects. When you come into contact with pure love, honesty, joy, and people that are happy to be here and are moving in a way that is positive, how can you not want to be part of that? How? There are those that don't, but they will be overcome, not in a forceful way, but they are in the shadow, and the light kills shadows. Does that make sense? There's, there's been a lot of stories about the earth separating when the ascension time comes, and then some of us will stay on earth and there'll be a new earth for some of these people that... People are confusing the ascension with the rapture. They are two different things. I'm not sure that I can explain the basic difference, but ascension does not make people rise off the earth and go into a spiritual body. The ascension is an evolutionary process. It causes man to move to the next level of expanded thought and process and telepathy. This is what the ascension does. Your so-called rapture from revelation in your Bible is not echoed nearly the same by any other religious book. But it is a semi-truth about there will be a time when many people will exit the earth at the same time into a spiritual body. That's all I can relate that to. Back to the ascension, when is the first wave of ascenders to go? They don't go anywhere. They don't go anywhere. They, the first wave of ascenders will become the first telepaths on earth. They will be feared. But once they let themselves be who they really are, no one will fear them at all. They will not want to seek information that they shouldn't have. They will want to connect in a positive way. Now that's not to say that at the beginning there will be those who seek to do harm as a telepath. But you will know them by their intention and another telepath will find them. Hmm. They could not hide. They would not be able to hide because of their intention. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If another telepath comes across them, they're exposed. Um, I'd like to ask a question. Uh, would you consider this um, telepathic or just intuition? Like, you, you're a person that has lots of love for everyone, mm -hmm. but yet sometimes you run across somebody and you start to go near them and you want to back away. That's the first part of telepathy, knowing the intent of somebody that it wishes to cause mm -hmm. negativity in the area or with you, that is the first part of telepathy. You will be able to sense their energy mm -hmm. before they've even released it. I've had that happen a few times. This is the first beginning.
Does this make sense to you? Mm -hmm. yes. Can we change their energy by sending them lots of love? You cannot change their energy without their will being changed. Mm -hmm. Their will has to change by your will being of the light and love. Then if they see the things in you that they want, their will will change. But it has to be their will. Your will cannot control them.